Hi, everyone, and welcome to NameHero.com, the leader in reseller web hosting. Today, I want to demonstrate how quick and easy it is to set up your reseller account at NameHero and to get your entire web hosting business online in under an hour. Now, before we get started, I want to encourage you to download our free book called Reseller Hero or Resale Hero. It's available at NameHero.com slash startup slash resale dash hero. And I'll have links in the video as well. But this six part guide is a comprehensive guide and it shows exactly what you need to do to set up your hosting business. And we, we go into great detail about every little thing you need and it's completely free. So regardless if you sign up an account or not, you can still get the book for free. Just enter your name and email address and click download and it'll be sent right to you. But that's gonna help you get started with this at Name Hero. Um, now I'm going to head back over here and show you how quick and easy it is to set up your account and to set up the billing software WHMCS, which automates the entire process for you. So on our screen right now is our main reseller page. And you can see we have three different packages, the startup, the corporate, and the entrepreneur. Now I personally, I recommend the corporate. Reason being, it comes with WHMCS, it comes with a free domain, and it comes with free and automatic SSL. The other packages, they have great features as well, but they don't come with WHMCS. So you have to purchase that, and you can purchase it as an add-on for an additional fee. But the non-branded WHMCS is worth $18 a month if you buy it directly from them. So with the corporate reseller you basically get that for free plus you get your hosting space so the best deal is $19.95 and that's what I recommend that's what I recommend going with because you're gonna make the most ROI so if you scroll down here you're gonna see when you click here there's several different options and the price is better depending on how long you sign up notice you're gonna save 50% if you sign up for three years that's what I recommend doing um, at any time during that three-year period if you want to upgrade we can apply your balance or downgrade or whatever needs to happen we can do that for you so it's really a no risk to you, to you. Um, but that's what I recommend doing so you get the most ROI and that's what I'm gonna demonstrate okay so after we select our, our billing cycle um, we then have the option to register a new domain so if you want to have a new domain for your business you could do that here remember it is free the, the first registration is free um, for this account um, but I'm gonna use one that I already have so I'm gonna click that I will use my existing domain and update my name servers now if you have a domain somewhere else and you want us to um, manage the domain as well you should transfer it and that's gonna become easy when we go to register our name servers which we're gonna talk about in just a few minutes um, so you might want to do that if your domain is um, registered elsewhere, say at GoDaddy or, or somewhere similar. Okay, so my domain is here at Name Hero, so it's called ResellHero.com. So I'm going to type it in here. Notice the .com goes over here. Click Use. Okay, then I'm going to see all my features, and you can see that our corporate reseller package has got everything you can imagine. Um, you know, it's got 100 gigabytes of space, 2,000 gigabytes of bandwidth, it's got the billing software, it's got free and automatic SSL, um, it's got a domain reseller account, it's got Cloudflare, nightly backups, and you can do unlimited clients with private name servers. So there's really nothing we don't give you in this package. It really is um, the comp very comprehensive. Now we're going to do with the training only to save, to save the most. Now to activate WHMCS, we just click here. Some people, even though we give it for free, some people don't want it, so it's an option. If you don't, you don't have to have it. So, but it is free, so we'll click continue. And you can see now we've got our, our total. Um, we have a special running right now, which takes off $360, a great savings, um, which equals out to $19.95 a month. I mean, that's an unreal crazy deal. Um, so our total is $718, and, and again, that's for three years for running our business. So that's a, a really, really good price. Okay, so I'm going to pause this video really quick, and then I'll be right back with you after I complete my payment, and we'll continue on with the resale account setup. Now I'm back and my order's been processed. You can see I've got an order number and that's my confirmation. And now I can click here to continue to the client area. This is our main dashboard and this is my demo account. So I've got a couple domains and a couple hosting packages already in it. Um, so the first thing we need to do though is register our name servers. So we're going to click here and we're going to look for the package we just ordered. Now remember we ordered the corporate reseller. So we're going to click on here. And you can see, here's our server name, and here's going to be our private name servers. Okay, so this is just one easy step you have to do, and our support team's more than willing to help you, so you can submit a ticket if you want us to do it for you, but I'll show you how easy. So we're going to hover over domains and click on My Domains, and I'm going to open it in another tab just so we can go back and forth. 
So you can see I've got resellhero.com registered here. Now, if you've registered your name with GoDaddy or another registrar, you're going to have to have them register your name servers for you. And the process we're about to do, you're going to have to do it on their end. Now, since I'm not GoDaddy, I'm not sure how they do it over there. Um, you can Google um, how to register name servers at, at GoDaddy, and you'll find some documentation. Additionally, you can ask GoDaddy support. That's what they're there for. Or you can always transfer your domain to us at Name Hero, and we'll do it for you. So either way, um, this has to get done. So we're going to click on Private Name Servers on the right. Okay, and this is where we're going to register it. So we'll go back to here. And we have to copy this IP address, this one right here, beside NS1. We'll go back here, and we're going to enter NS1, and then we're going to enter the IP and click Save. Okay, now we're going to go back over here, and we're going to grab the second one. And we're going to go to NS2, whoops, and Save. Okay, now my name servers have been registered. So now I want to modify resellhero.com to use the private name servers. So I'm going to click on name servers. And you're going to see it defaults to our name hero ones. So we're going to change this to resellhero.com. And then we're going to paste in that one and change it to two and click change name servers. Okay, that's all there is to it. Now our name servers are private and they're registered and they're ready to use. So now any client that signs up with us, they can use reset in the NS1 and NS2.resellhero.com so they don't see Name Hero in the whole process. It's completely white labeled. It's a huge benefit. Customers love this. Now, since we just registered our name servers, there's a period called DNS propagation. Now this can take anywhere from a couple of hours all the way up to 48 hours. So depending on where you're located in the world, and it depends on who, what ISP you use and how long they take, it could take up to 48 hours. So if you try to access your domain after doing registering the name servers and updating them and it doesn't work, then you just need to give it a little bit more time to propagate. So now is what I recommend. If you didn't download our guide, go download our guide and give it a read while you're waiting on this. Um, if that's not an option, go get some coffee or just go hang out for a little bit because it's going to take some time uh, for it to begin to propagate. Once it does, or you can start this now, I'm going to walk you through how you set up and install WHMCS, our billing software. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into cPanel. So we'll click log into cPanel. Okay, from here, you're going to see it's going to begin a tutorial. If you need to learn more about cPanel, you can take that. But I'm just going to click OK and um, go right into cPanel to install WHMCS. So I'm gonna scroll down here to the bottom and you're gonna see my one-click installer down here. And it's got all kinds of different um, programs to install. So let's just um, click on portals and CMS and you'll see it brings up a bunch of stuff here. So we just wanna search WHMCS, boom, right here. Okay, so you can see it's right here in the one-click installer, and we're just going to click install now. We're going to make this very easy on us. All right, we're going to choose our protocol. Um, if you want to do HTTPS, you can. Um, for this video, I'm just going to do the www just until we get all that set up. Now, if you want this in a subdirectory, then you put it in here. If you want it in the root directory, you remove this. So when I go to resellhero.com, the way I'm setting this up, I want it to show in my root directory. So I'm just going to delete this. So when people go to resellhero.com, they get my billing software immediately. Now you might want to call this clients, billing, or whatever in a subfolder. That's up to you. A data directory, you can just leave this default. A cron job, you can leave this default. Now we have to enter some information about our company. So we're just going to call this resell hero. Um, an admin folder, you want to make this hard to guess. So I, I recommend making it really tough. So one admin in NH2. So something difficult because you're the only person that's going to have this admin folder and your team members. This you don't want any people aren't going to, or other people aren't going to know this. Now you have your email address, whatever you want for your company email, and now you have to enter your valid license key. So let me show you where to get that. We're going to go back to our client area and we're going to click on add-ons. And you can see here is our license that came with our hosting package. And we're going to copy this right here. Copy this. We'll go back to here and paste it. Now you're also going to receive this in email, so it's in your email if you don't, um, you don't want to get it in your client area. Now you have to set up your admin username and password. We want to make this hard. 
resell hero, and then we're going to generate a password. So we're going to generate whatever um, it gives us here. But we're going to make sure we write this down because that's hard to get if you um, misplace that. Okay, and you, additionally, you can email the installation details to you so you have a record of everything. But I'm going to click Install. Okay, and you see we got a PHP warning. Uh, that's fine. We'll just enable this. It's not going to cause any issues. And click Install. In Name Hero, we allow multiple versions of PHP to be ran um, on our accounts. So at any time, you can upgrade or change your PHP, and you can see that did it very easily. Um, and so at this point, WHMCS is installed. Now, it's probably not going to come up here. Or actually, it did come up here. My, my DNS was already propagated during the time we've done this video. Um, so that's great. And yours might not be as fast. If not, don't worry. It will propagate. Just give it some time. But now you can see I'm all set to, to get going here on um, WHMCS. You know, people can start um, searching for domains. Um, they can start, um, you know, ordering hosting from me. But I do have to configure it a little bit more. So now I would go into my admin here, area here and enter my username and password and begin configuring everything. So what you'll probably want to do, um, if you don't know anything about how WHMCS works, you'll probably want to click this link down here at the bottom and go to their documentation because they're, it's very, very, very complex piece of software, very versatile. I um, mean, it can do a lot of stuff. So if we scroll down here, we can see the documentation link. And you can see there is everything you can imagine under the sun to get familiar with this right here in the documentation. You can begin by searching, um, but you can read through here and um, and get going pretty easy. I mean, it tells you, it tells pretty much every single thing. Um, so that, that makes it very simple. So once you log in here, and we'll just, we can go to Resale Hero, and um, let's see here. And it just banned me out of there for login attempts. So you want to make sure that you have um, your username that we listed in the first step um, handy, because if not, it does ban you out, and I'll have to unban. But um, but that's it. Uh, once you log in there, you can configure it, and everything is inside this documentation. And our team's around to help you out too, if you need help, um, you know, getting around it or setting up stuff. But um, you can see everything is inside of this documentation. It will help you out. Um, finally, if you want to get your um, free domain reseller account, you can just go here to support and submit a new ticket. Just click on tickets and send us a ticket saying, hey, I'm, I'm ready for my domain reseller account, and we can give you that information too, and that way you can sell um, domains to your customers. But you can see we did get banned. Um, so I'll have to unblock that. But the site's up and ready and it's ready to go. WHMCS has been installed and that's in under 30 minutes we've done all this. So um, it is that quick and easy to get set up with Name Hero. So if you have any questions, feel free to comment on this video. Feel free to let me know, let my team know, um, and we'll help you out. But it's really that simple. Pick out your account, um, pay for it, register your name servers, install WHMCS, and you're ready to start reselling web hosting. Thanks a bunch, everyone. I hope you enjoy and I wish your business the best of luck.